Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around let us pray Jesus now we are standing
down and claim it for you are standing on holy ground we are standing on holy ground hallelujah lord and i know that there are angels hallelujah. all around me. hallelujah thank you lord let us pray No, Brother Oscar. Yes. Sometimes in this walk, we get up on the mountain, and boy, it feels so good. Like last week, I was up on the mountain just about every day. Boy, and everything was going so yeah. good. And then the day before yesterday, boy, here he come. Yeah. He hit me in the back of the head, and he made me hurt, and he made me cry. Sometimes in this life, we hurt and we cry. Yeah. But. If you lift your hands up and call on the Lord, yes. and He'll come down and wipe all these tears away. Praise He'll the Lord. Do it. He'll do it. Praise the Lord. That's why I'm going to do this one. All right, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Keep your mind on the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That's a universal word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hold on a second, Mike. I got somebody that said. Jan told me this yesterday. Uh, yesterday you told me? Monday. 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 It made my heart swell up as big as a basketball. <laughs> Jeremy, my grandson, <laughs> had to go to O'Reilly's O'Reilly to pick up an auto part. And while I was in there, somebody pulled in a brand new 2014 Mustang and parked in the handicapped parking area. And the guy had been in the store about 10 minutes just walking around. And then this elderly gentleman pulled in, had to park all the way as far into the parking lot, and had to stop two or three times to catch his breath to get into the auto parts store. And that, that made Jeremy mad. <laughs> He said he walked up to that guy and he told me, he said, look, he said, here you are driving that brand new Mustang. He said, you've been in the store walking around for 15 minutes. Because Jeremy, Jeremy went out and helped the guy, the old man get in the store. I said, this gentleman can hardly breathe, can hardly walk. And he had the pockets far and lost. He said, you got two choices. You move that Mustang now or I'll call the cops and I'll move it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy didn't say nothing. He just said everything he had down, walked up, got his Mustang and drove off. Yeah. <laughs>
seem to cry Sometimes I fall Stumble over my own disguise I try to look strong If the whole world is alone But sometimes alone I cry Sometimes I fall, stumble over my own disguise. I gotta look strong as the whole world's on. Sometimes alone I cry. I try to look strong as the whole world's on. taking up the offering right now but I want us to get our minds on God tonight you know we're here on this earth for a while a short while You know we're here for a while sometimes it seems like a long time but it's just a heartbeat to God you know I uh, I begin to think today I was sitting here on the couch and I picked up my Bible and I began to read you know we we're the most blessed people in the world oh yes we are we're just a little ways from being home Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're just a little ways from being home. We got something to look forward to. Hallelujah. You know, it makes me want to jump and shout and worship God. It makes me want to tell Him how much I love Him. You know, God had a plan from the very beginning of time. Whenever He spoke and walked out on the deep and began to tell things to come into place. Begin to put things into existence. You know, of all the times that he, he done that, while he was putting the waters where they needed to be, and while he was putting the land where he needed to be, he was thinking about his son, Jesus Christ. Yes, he was. He knew that one day he was going to have to put his son on the cross. I began to see the times as if we went on down through the prophets the patriarchs, them that have come down through time. And then one night in Bethlehem, Judea, hallelujah, there was a little boy brought into the world. The little boy was brought into the world with such a load on his shoulders. And I began to see as this little boy began to grow up. 12 years old, that's about the, uh, the, the real record that we have of him. After 12 years old, until he come to turn 30 years old, we didn't have a whole lot of record of him. But God's plan was falling in place. God was fixing us. I'm talking about the people that is sitting in this building tonight. God was fixing a place for us that we could dwell with Him. Think about it. Hallelujah. We ought to be shouting the glory of God tonight. We ought to be the happiest people that ever walked. Because you know what? One of these days we're going to possess that land. We're going to walk into it. And we're going to take it. Because He made it for us. The plan was there. It didn't have to be. You know, so many times I think, God, couldn't you have done something different than taking Jesus being crucified? and punished and tormented the way that he was tormented 
Couldn't there have been another way? And then I begin to see the angels of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just on the hillside across from where Jesus was crucified, he said, Lord, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. He was doing it for you. He was doing it for me. You know, he could have called 10,000 angels. That's what he said. I begin to think on that right there. On the hillside across from where the old Roman soldiers was pounding the nails into his hands and to his feet. There was 10,000 angels sitting there with their hands on their shoulders. A host of angels sitting there waiting to say, you give the word. You give the word and we will take him off that cross. We'll take him down. Don't worry about it. You just give us the word, Lord. And we'll take you off that cross. We'll destroy everything that's in this presented. But he said, no. You can't. Because I see a ton of pain. I see Brother William Jones. I see Brother Ed Payne. I see that they're going to have to have a plan of salvation. They're going to have to have a place that we can be together. Hallelujah. Angels, you stand still. Don't come now. Even though the torment it's so great in me right now. But don't come. Not now. Wait three days. Hallelujah. Wait, Just wait. Wait three days. Just wait. Just wait. Hallelujah. And he died on that tree. Hallelujah. Them angels are waiting again. Hallelujah. They're coming back. <laughs> Hallelujah. And He's coming back to take us home. Hallelujah. He's coming back and He's saying, get ready because I'm bringing you home. Hallelujah. We're just a heartbeat away from going home. Hallelujah. We're almost ready to walk over. We're about ready to possess the land. We're about ready to walk in through those pearly gates. We're about ready to walk down the streets of gold. We're about ready to walk into the presence of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're about ready to take it. Hallelujah. What's coming with it? What's coming with it when we walk through those gates? I'm going to read some scripture here in a minute. Hallelujah. But we're going to go take the place. Hallelujah. We're going to march down that street. We're not going to march down as a bunch of little wimps. But we're going to march down that street with our hands held high, with our robes and with our crowns. We're going to march down that down that street. We're going to walk into the presence of God. And we're going to say, God, we thank you because you hung on that cross. That you stayed to stay. That you didn't send the angels come to and tell to take the land. My friend, let me tell you something. We're about ready to go over. We're almost home. Hallelujah. This may be the song we sing when we get there. Stand to your feet. You want a blessing for God tonight? Stand to your feet. Begin to give Him a worship. Begin to praise Him. We're fixing to take the land. We're fixing to move over. We're going to cross.
that be a day. Won't that be a day? Hallelujah. Thank you, Mike. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you feel like praising the Lord, keep Thank praising Lord. the Lord. Amen. Invite Him into the building right now. Amen. Say, God, we want Thank your you. presence Tell right here. We want your Thank presence you, in this yes, building Lord. right now, Lord. God, we Hallelujah. want your presence Hallelujah. into this building. We you want your presence Spirit. right here. Thank I feel the anointing Thank power you. of God. I feel something yes. moving in this building. I feel the anointing power of God. Yes, God is moving. God is a real God. Yes, he is yes. here. My presence yes, take here. advantage of everything that we can, every blessing we can get. Let's grab it. Then sings my soul, my Savior God. Isn't that a merciful God? Isn't that a merciful God? That He would come and do what He done? That it would be for us? That we could abide with Him? Hallelujah. He said, I go away to prepare your place. That where I am, there you may be also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you got your Bibles tonight, you want to read with me? You want to stay with me? Turn to the 22nd chapter of the book of Revelations. Hallelujah. I'm not going to get into something that we can't understand tonight. I'm not going to try to get into to a lot of revelations that a lot of people don't understand. I'm going to read you something tonight uh, that is anybody in this building can understand what it is that we're talking about. Hallelujah. Brother Ed, would you ask a blessing on this before we start? Heavenly Father, as Oscar gets ready to bring the Word, Lord, I ask you, Lord, to open up our ears. Not only our earthly ears, Lord, but our spiritual ears so that we can take this message into our heart, Lord, apply it to our lives so that others might see you in us. And we ask this in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. You, you know, I said we were just we're fixing to go over. We're about ready to go across. And then a lot of people says, well, this is the figment of somebody's imagination. Oh, no, it's not. John saw it, and he began to write about it. Hallelujah. Listen to what it says. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God yes. and of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And of the Lamb, the one that died on that cross, uh, that told the, the angels, stand back. Don't you come now. Stand back. This is something that has to be done. I'm going away and I'm fixing to prepare, prepare the people that's in this building tonight. I'm fixing to prepare you a place uh, that where you are, you, where I am there, you can be also. Amen. You can come and be with me. And here's what he said. And in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruit, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Hallelujah. That's us. Hallelujah. That's us. We're moving out of here, and we're going into something that is beyond our comprehension. We cannot in no way, shape, form, or fashion even imagine what it is that heaven is going to be like. John began to write the best he could and began to try to tell us something about it. Amen. And, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and His servants shall serve Him. And they shall see His face, and His name shall be in their forehead, and there shall be no more night there, and there need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever 
and forever. Hallelujah. Think about it. You can be seated. Right there is where I'm going to stop. I begin to think today as I begin to read that. I begin to think about what it is that we're going into. You know, we can't explain exactly what it is. We try to sometimes to explain what it is that we're going into. But there's no way that we can do it. You know, He gives us the dimensions of the heaven, of the new Jerusalem. He gives us the dimensions of it. He says there's a new heaven and a new earth. And we're going to process every bit of it. We're going to walk out into it. You know, a lot of people say, well, all we're going to be doing is worshiping God around the throne day and night forever and ever. God has got His angels that's going to do that. We're going to be worshiping Him. We're going to be giving Him praise. We're going to continue to praise Him over and over. But there's one thing that we're going to do. We're going to be able to walk down by the river of life. We're going to be able to walk down by that stream and dip our feet into it. We're going to be able to walk by that tree of life and reach up and take the fruit that's on it and we're going to have the leaves of that tree for the healing of the nations that's us my friend we're going to be in a paradise we're going to be in a place that is beyond our minds we cannot explain what it's going to be like we don't know how not here on this earth I wish somehow or another that I could manage to stand and tell you exactly what heaven's going to be like if I could do that you know what there wouldn't be a lost soul in this county. That's right, right, if I could do that and then be able to convince everybody, there wouldn't be another person that would die and go to hell. Right. You know what? But I can't do it. And there's no way that I can explain what heaven's going to be like. But I do know this. I can possess that land. I can walk down those streets of gold. I can walk in the presence of God. And I'm going to be able to do it. Why? Because He made me a promise. He said, I go to prepare you a place that where I am, there you may be also. My friend, let me tell you something. That Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is up there today. That's right. Hallelujah. He's up there today preparing a place. He may be building a mansion for somebody right now that's sitting in this building. That's right. Hallelujah. He may be putting the final touch to that little mansion that you're going to have. Hallelujah. He may be ready to hang the door. But he ain't going to put no locks on it. Hallelujah. Won't be no locks on that door. Amen. There won't That's be right. nothing but for just for us to walk in, Amen. push it open, and push it closed. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you think Amen. I'll be resting? I don't think so. Amen. Hallelujah. There ain't going to be no night there. Hallelujah. Ain't going to be no night there. Ain't going to be nothing to make me sleepy. You know what it's going to do? It's going to be something to keep me awake. There's going to be something going on on the main streets of heaven. And I'm going to be right in the middle of it. Hallelujah. I want to be there. How many nights, and if you could take a choice, of going back and living your life over again. Oh, Lord. Or would you like to just tonight walk out of here into the presence of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing to compare with it. There's no way we could compare that. You know what we're going to do? And I'm talking about the people that is sitting in this building tonight. I know there's other people out there tonight that's going to be going into the portals of heaven. There's people all over the world that's going to be processing that land. But I'm talking to the group that is sitting in this building tonight. You know what? It's going to be something. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be something whenever I walk up to, to the pearly gates. Amen. I can just about see them. I can, in my mind, I can almost visualize what they're going to look like. Amen. I begin, I can just see as I walk inside of that gate. Ooh. Hallelujah. And I just throw my head back and I look at the pearls in that gate. Amen. Yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Shalomah Hallelujah. I look at the pearls of that gate. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. As I look at that, I look around and I look down the street. I see my mom and my dad. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I may yes. take off here in a minute. Come on. Hallelujah. I may take yeah. off here in a minute. Yes. I'll see my brother and my sister as yes. they come to meet me. Hallelujah. With their hands held out. My friend, let me tell you something. We're going to have a reunion yes. like you've never seen right. before. Amen. There's going to be a rejoicing yes. like you've never seen before. Yes. God's people are all going to be together for the first time ever. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Them that is gone on, they're waiting for us. Amen. Let me tell you this again. 
We're just a little ways from going over. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just a little ways from going over. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. If we live on this earth, and we live on this earth for 25 more years, and God don't take a notion, it's time to send, to send my, my son and bring him home. Amen. He said, it's about time I'll bring him home. Amen. If he don't do that, what length of time we got here is a heartbeat. It's not even a heartbeat That's right. whenever we walk through the gates Thank of heaven. Right. Right. Nothing to compare with it. There's no way that Amen. we can compare to that. Amen. I think sometimes, I was a little old boy that was born down in the early part of, or part of Trigg County, Lyon County, down on the river. Never had much to speak of all my life. But I'm the most blessed person that ever walked the face of the earth. Amen. Brother William, I'm the most blessed person that Amen. ever walked. Amen. You know why I'm blessed? Because I know where I'm going. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How are you going to know where you're going if you don't know where you came from? That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time that we woke up and Amen. realize that God has paid a price Amen. that we can have uh, and pay an inherit to. this Amen. place called heaven and earth, uh, the Amen. new heaven and earth. It's sometimes we need to wake up and say, God, I thank you because you have done what you've done, Amen. that you have made me a way that I can take this, and now I'm the richest yeah. person that ever walked. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walking up the steps to your new, new home. Well, thank you, Hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm just taking it tonight that we may take a step or two to get up to it. I don't care if it's a hundred steps from the sidewalk up. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to have a body that's not going to get tired. He's not told me that. I'm going to have a body that ain't going to have to go so, uh, no uh, aches and pains. I'm going to have a body I can walk the hundred steps, Sister Haven. And I'm telling you right now, God is going to give me that. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to go hungry. I've got what I want. Hallelujah. You know, when I first started out in life, I said, man, I've got to have me a home. I've got to get me a new home. Boy, that was the first thing on my mind. I've got to have a home. And I was a pretty young boy, and I went to the bank, and I told the bank what I wanted. I told them, I said, I want to build me a house. And I walked to, to a man, that, a real friend, a good friend of mine that, on the lumber company, and I walked to him, and I said, "I said, here's what I want. I bought me a little old farm out in the country, and I said, I said, here's what I want. I want to take, and I want to build me a house out there on that little farm I bought. And he was a good friend of mine, and he said, Oscar, you go out there, and you build a house. Amen. I said, I need one year to pay for it. I said, in one year, I'll give you the money for it, if you'll give me what it takes to build that house. Amen. He said, you go, and you build that house. Amen. Yeah. You know, I, I I wasn't very I wasn't very old, but buddy, I had one thing. I had a determination. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I had a determination. I was going to build that house. I went out there and I didn't have a tractor, a dozer, and all that stuff. I took a shovel. Amen. I said, I've got to build a foundation. And I put my foot on the back of that shovel and down it went. My friend, you know what I done? I didn't quit till I dug a footer for that house. Amen. And then I got me a concrete and I began to build a build on that foundation. Yes. Hallelujah. We gotta build on the foundation. Yes. We gotta get something yes. settled yes. so where we can when we start building, we can build a house that will stand. Amen. 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 Now I look back through this audience tonight and I see people. And everybody in here tonight's got a story just like I told. Amen. That's right. It may not be just exactly like, but they got a story they can tell me tonight. Amen. That's right. Yes. You got something you can tell me how you got started off. Maybe you had to rent a house. Maybe you had to do something, but your determination was to have a home. Amen. Amen. One night in a little house, God began to deal with my heart. And I gave my heart to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I gave my heart to Jesus. I took, and I took that shovel, and I put it in the ground. Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to get a foundation. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. I started working and I started saying, God, I've got to have something that I can stand on. And you know what? Tonight, uh, I'm going to tell you what I've got to stand on. And that's Jesus Christ. Amen. And him Amen. Amen. I don't Amen. know nothing Amen. else but Amen. Him and Him crucified. Let me tell you, Paul said, I don't know nothing else. I ain't going to preach you nothing else except Him and Him crucified. Amen. That's right. That was my foundation. Amen. I began to dig on that. I began to believe that He was the one that was going to save me. I believed that that was going to get me to the place that I just read you tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> and you know, down through the years, it's not been all uphill and it's not been all downhill. Amen. But I tell you what it's been. It's been a determination inside of me just like I started out the day that I said I'm fixing to build a house. That determination has been in me to make it to that portal of heaven. Amen. Whenever I can walk into the portals of heaven, when I can walk into that gate <coughs> and I can look up and I can see it and I can look down the main streets of heaven and look down as pure as gold and walk on it. Amen. 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 I'm going to do it. Amen. And you know what? Tonight, I'm not going to be my myself. Everybody that's, that's in this building Amen. that's got the determination. Yes. You know what you're going to do? You're going to build on that foundation. Amen. Everybody down through the years has built on that foundation. Amen. And you've held on to it. You know why? Because you know that God has made you a promise. He, he said that He was going away to prepare Amen. a place for you. Amen. And He said, where I go, you can be also. All you got to do is have a determination to get there. You know what? Tonight I've got a determination to make it to heaven. I want to leave here. I want to see what that uh, uh, river of life looks like. I want to see what that tree that bears those twelve fruits are. I want to know what it looks like. Hallelujah. I want to put my feet in that weary river. I want to take them old sandals off and just walk out in right up to my neck. Hallelujah. I want to get out in the middle of it. Hallelujah. Won't that be a day? Amen. Won't that day. be something? Day. Hallelujah. Be. You know, didn't you think about this? And one day we're sitting on the side of the river, all of us in here, and we'll say, ain't this such a glorious place? Amen. We won't be thinking about what happened here on this earth anymore. That's right. That's right. That won't ever come Amen. up behind us. Amen. That won't ever come up again. We're not Amen. even going to think about it. Those people that we tried to win to the Lord that didn't give their heart to the Lord, we're not going to worry because they didn't make it. That's right. We won't even know our best. Not going to be no worries. Not going to be no cruelty. We'll be sitting on the bank of that river. Amen. I believe that everybody in this building will be talking to each other. Amen. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All of a sudden, somebody, it may be Sister Helen, it may be Mike, it may be you, it, hallelujah, say, hey, everybody, hallelujah. Look who's coming down the street. Hallelujah. Look who's coming down the street. Hallelujah. I begin to I'll come out of that water and I'll begin to say, It's Jesus of Nazareth. Here he comes. We're going to get to talk to him. I believe he'll walk right up where we're at. He'll sit down beside the river and he'll begin to talk to us. Amen. Won't that be something? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Can you get that in your mind? Have you ever thought what it is that you might say to him? Hallelujah, I said something the other night to somebody I don't remember, or I don't know how it was said. But there's one thing I'm going to look for. I want to look at his hands. I'm going to look at his hands. And when I look at his hands, Hallelujah. <coughs> Somebody better say something. I'm about to have Hallelujah. a fit. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm about to have a fit. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm going to say I'm sorry because you had to do it for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at him and I'm going to say, Lord, I thank you for holding the 10,000 angels. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. I thank you for telling them, don't come and take me off this tree. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank you because you didn't do it. Yeah, amen. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to tell him I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. And then I will fall at his feet and I will worship him and I will praise him and I'll give him glory forever and ever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank Sweet you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Ain't he a good God? Yes. Ain't he a wonderful yes. God? Oh, awesome. And we belong to him. Amen. That's right. Amen. We're his children. That's right. We're his children. Praise We're brothers Jesus. and sisters in the Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank We're you. brothers and sisters in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I like to hear that. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. Amen. I love you, Lord. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody love just said, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Put those hands in the air. Begin to praise Him. Begin to give Him praise. Hallelujah. 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 We have got something to look forward to. We cannot imagine what it's going to be like. Hallelujah. Ain't that going to be a time? Hallelujah. And then think about this. The old song, Amazing Grace. When we've been there 10,000 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 10,000 years. Right shining as the sun. We have no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Hallelujah. We're leaving here. We're going somewhere. Everybody knows that, that we are God's and He's bringing us home. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're just a little ways from being there. Yes, thank you, Lord. We're just a little ways from being there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want everybody in this building to stand to your feet. Yes, Lord. Sometimes I cry. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My dog. Sometimes I cry. Thank you, Lord. I cry a lot. Oh, Lord, thank you, dear. Hallelujah. Oh, break the heart. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. When I've been awesome wonder. I believe that everybody here. I love the Lord. I don't believe there's a sinner in this building. I'm not giving an altar call to somebody that comes to give the heart of the Lord. But here's what I'm giving. If you want to be closer to God, if your desire is to be closer to God than you've ever been in your life, because listen to me, my friend. That Holy Ghost power of God. Hallelujah. If you want a closer walk with God than you've ever had in your life, if you want to be to the place when you walk in the house, you're talking to somebody on the telephone, or you just stand and praise God out your right window and watch him with a And you want to be closer to God than you've ever been before. Out of here, right in the presence of God at any time. Tell you what I want you to do. This is called an altar. I'm not asking you to come and deal at it, but I am asking you to come and stand in front of it tonight. I want everybody in this building to come and stand in front of this altar. Hallelujah.
take left side. You're going to let us take over. We're going to walk the street. We're going to walk into that place. Hallelujah. 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 Raise those hands to him. And say, God, we love you tonight. I want to be able, whenever you call me home, or if you meet me in the clouds of glory, that I can leave this world with a mighty wind behind me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere, people. We're not, we're not, beg we're not beggars. Hallelujah. We're not vagabonds. We're a people of God. We're possessing the land. We're going over.
tonight are going to possess the land. Hallelujah. 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 God is a good God. Hallelujah. And He would do this for me. Hallelujah. He would do it for me. And then He would do it for you. Hallelujah. We're walking out of here. Hallelujah. 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 Would you put that in? Hallelujah. And he stood there on that cross and said, Don't come down. So I take it up and I do. He said, Don't come down. Don't come down. Hallelujah. worship service. Amen. That's my service is to worship God. Hallelujah. Anytime I do, I'm telling you, I wake up in the middle of the night and I say, Lord, I'm going to worship you today or tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anybody got a testimony tonight? You well, I feel like Lord for this service. I thank you for the sweet spirit that I felt and I thank him for the blood he shed on that cross. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. I just want to thank him and praise him for everything he's done for me this week. Always 